Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Bear from the sideline. So with James on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Hill. And it's Mutombo. And it's Anthony. And it's Russell in at the four. And for Chicago, they've got Anthony Davis. Jordan is out there with Luka Doncic. Then it's Kareem. And it's Carter in at the three. And the basket by Hill. Always fun to be on the call for one of these games, Brent. Conference rivals going at it. So much emotion. Teams that are very familiar with each other. I love it, Kevin, and I'm so happy to be here with you for this one. This is going to be awesome. You don't get a lot of games like this so hype where the crowd is really into it. So let's move up a little bit and sit on the edge of our seat, should we? Russell dishes to Hill. And it's Hill with the jam. And guys, there are two types of stars. Uh, I mean, the guy who makes himself look better, and then there's the guy who makes his teammates look better. Russell is clearly the latter. Back to Davis. Here's Abdul-Jabbar, and the dunk by Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, Kevin, not a penny, not a manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg, yeah, showing off the bunny. Davis finds Doncic, and that one falls, coming off of Davis' feed. And when Anthony Davis sees that one of his guys is open because of the pressure the defense puts on him, he'll make the play. Hill passes to Anthony. Here's Mutombo. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to go on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Doncic kicks to Davis. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls tack on two more. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Down low. Here's Mutombo. Back to Leonard. Carter against Anthony. Shot clock at five. Hits the jumper in space. A mellow special right there, playing in the mid-range. It's pretty much been his home his entire career. And here's Doncic from the arc. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Second shot opportunity, and Anthony with the basket on the assist by Russell. And this close into the cup, Anthony makes it look easy. Nice soft touch on that one. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. You gotta feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings, that's what they love to do. For the Bulls. A different look for Miami. Chicago has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside, George. Poked away. Here's Giannis. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. It's tough to cover a Tentacupo, especially this deep, and so good at using that length to shoot over the deep. Kobe, the pass to Elijah Wong. Well, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. In the corner, it's James. Kept alive. Here's Pippen. And the layup falls. Easy to understand why they give Pippen the ball in that area. Because this guy knows how to take advantage. Johnson kicks to George. Here's Kobe. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. It's Pippen on the way. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Uh, the strength of O'Neal is otherworld. To the middle. Here's Johnson. And Magic Johnson with the slam. 
love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting them. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's Kobe. And Chicago with another bucket. The defense has got to cover Bryant everywhere. Otherwise, he'll just keep finding looks whenever he wants. Here's Antetokounmpo. Shot is good off the bad rim and in. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Twenty-seven seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Duncan finds Johnson. That's his second shot Man, and his Duncan. second basket. He's two for two. And when you have this kind of size as a point guard, what a tremendous advantage. And Magic can really match up with Jimmy all five Butler. positions. So Assist far, from both from teams scorching Jonathan nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. And so it's Miami headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And make some noise for you And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Heat. And they've made a point of pounding the offensive boards, turning those rebounds into points. It's been a great effort. And they've really attacked off of the turnovers, so leaking out and capitalizing on fast break stuff. So with LeBron on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Russell is out there with Anthony. And it's Hill. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Matumbo in at the five spot. And it's Chicago scoring again. Oh, good look there as well. And this is what Hakeem's worked on. Pay too much attention to him, and he'll burn you with a nice find. Anthony in the corner. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on George. Yeah, the defender all over. The Heat have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. Johnson, the pass to Elijah Wong. Back to Johnson. Top of the key, Bryant. Over Leonard. Bryant's shot is off. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Bill and Bill Russell slams it in. Well, go ahead and try to stop Kawhi Leonard, and he'll just move the ball to the open man. Johnson with the bounce pass. Leonard with the steal. It's two on one. Hill finds Leonard. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Shots good by Anthony. Anthony. Melo cashing in right now from the perimeter where he's in transition and spotting up. you got to get to him. Johnson surveying the floor. Elijah on the pass to Duncan. Looking to end the run. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. When you think of backcourt offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have incredible isolation scores, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. Here's Matumbo. Elijah Wan with the block. Without a doubt, one of the most versatile shot blockers in the game. Elijah Wan does it in the painted area as well as along the ground. They get it again. A second chance effort. And Duncan lays it in. Duncan's got four this quarter. Man, that's a lesson for the team. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Both teams deciding to change it up. One more big round of applause, fans. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. 
Butler against Doncic. LeBron James on the wing. A fader. Yes, that goes in. James. James has got the lead up to nine now for the Heat. This has been proven. It's a scientific fact, and it's hard to stop LeBron James from scoring. On Jitch passes to Davis. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. Defensive foul. It's on Jimmy Butler, and he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Butler against Doncic. The pass to Pippen. Right side out of the Kumbo. Lock at six. Shoots over Doncic. And too long on the shot. Bulls trail by six. Jordan outside. Butler against Doncic. Carter with the three. And the Bulls get it back. The three from Davis. Good on the triple. Davis has got six points. I like how AD set up that time. His footwork was good. His balance was good. And that led to a nice shooting motion. In the corner, it's James. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Jordan dishes to Doncic. A three. They get the rebound. And it's out to Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Love how quickly the King got out there. The first two steps getting that break started. Outside, Abdul-Jabbar to the paint. Anjic outside. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Giannis. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's LeBron. It's hauled in by the bull. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Jordan has clanked it. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Pass to Butler. And it's Butler with the Jimmy jam. Butler. Oh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Abdul Jabbar for three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Miami with a six point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. 40. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Carmelo Anthony really has his fingerprints all over this one. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. They're just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. So with Duncan sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Doncic out there with Michael Jordan, and there's Carter. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Abdul Jabbar in at the five, roaming the paint. You know how many times Carmelo Anthony has been bumped like that and still scored? Thousands. With the hook shot, and with that, the Heat lead has come down to four again on the bucket from Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Anthony left side. Good, the assist goes to Hill. And that's 13 points for Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo showing some muscle. Impressive right there with that physical finish. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. And Kareem throws it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Here's Hill with the putback. And staying with the play, Anthony. Anthony's got 15 points. I feel like Melo has always been a guy who doesn't mind hanging around down low, knocking guys around a little bit, and getting great second chance opportunities. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area, really keeps the defense honest. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size, with that kind of touch, that is money. Fader on the way. Hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Six points for him. And because of his ability to attack the rim, Hill can use that mid-range jumper as a great second option. Keeps defenders honest when he's knocking that down. With the fadeaway, and it's sent back by Matumbo. 
Here's Abdul Jabbar. Count the mask. Unstoppable tonight, as he is most nights. Jabbar has all the offensive tools, but it also keeps to a strict fitness regimen that allows him to wear people down. And the Heat call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Felt like he was getting more and more hungry as he got closer to the rim. Jimmy Butler just tenacious there. And so Butler nails both of them. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Johnson kicks to Elijah Wan. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. And James LeBron gets James. it to go. Confidence and LeBron James go together. Knows when to float the jumper off. That time, great touch. Here's Elijah one. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Bulls shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Two minutes he remaining remaining by six. Two minutes. Outside Butler, passes it to O'Neal, and the dunk by O'Neal. Smart play by Jimmy Butler, spots the open man, tack up an assist. Here's George, and good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. George has got his first points of the night. Two teammates connecting right there, slick feed. Yep, it counts. And the Heat lead by eight. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Chicago. Oh, and the jam by Kobe. And how fun is it watching Kobe take flight? Uh, his throwdowns are downright ridiculous. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Bulls have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Back to George. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Bryant with it. He's picked up by James. Five to shoot. It's blocked by Shaq. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Butler against Johnson. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on George. No question, he got bumped on that shot. This is his first free throw of the game. And the thing you marvel about with LeBron James is just the consistency of his excellence. He's been a top-five player in the league now for two decades. James Harden, he's checked in for Miami. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Here's Duncan, and the layup's good off the glass. Wow, just a two-point heat lead. Well, in that area of the floor, that's where Tim Duncan really shines. He knows how to take care of business from there. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Heat lead by four. And we'll get going. Defense with the handle, or you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Timeout call the Heat. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Thank you, David. So with Pippen sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. We've got Matumbo. Hill is out there with Kawhi Leonard. 
Then it's Anthony, and it's Russell, and it's the power forward. And Hill has it in the corner. Three pointers off the mark. Bulls trail by four. Here's Bryant. That's in. Coming Brody off the Bryant. assist from Elijah. Wong. Bryant got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Bulls. Hill passes to Carmelo. Johnson against Hill. Back to Anthony. To the middle. A jumbo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Heat lead by four. Melo good at scanning the entire floor, and that's why at that time he found the open teammate. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Dikembe Mutombo. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Heat. The mid-range game has been there for them all game long, and that old-school approach still getting it done in this one. And down in the low post, they've had some success as well, winning a lot of points off of that physical round and pound game. So that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Free throw drops for Hill. And the word you got to use is explosive out there when talking about Grant Hill. He's one of those guys who doesn't wait for the game to come to him. He, he goes out and just makes things happen. Driving the lane, and it's Hill with the jam. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Time called here, and the Bulls decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing from Carmelo Anthony. Man, he's been taking it to the rack all the game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Here's Abdul Jabbar, and that one hits back iron. Well, he leading by seven. The pass to Matumbo. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got four assists now tonight. And that is why they call him Mount Matumbo, chiseled like a rock. Davis dishes to Jordan. Dodger's outside. It's about the run. Rebound by the Heat. Matumbo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Hill has the open look. Again, the Heat good for two. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. And it's sent back by Matumbo. Second chance shot. Rebound by the Heat. Matumbo's got his fifth rebound in this one. A deep three from Leonard. The long distance three is buried. Leonard's got the lead up to 14 now for the Heat. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Terrific assist. A nice guy. Solid play all around. And he's a skilled and willing passer. Vince gets to his teammates on time and on target. Timeout called the Heat. Please give a big round of applause for your bold youth dance team. And now we present the percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Peyton passes to Abdul Jabbar. And Kareem throws it down. And this is what leaders do. Peyton showing a willingness to get it to the open man. Offensive rebound. Outside for Pippen. Pass to O'Neal. LeBron outside. Butler in the corner. Another shot. Count that one. Jimmy Butler. And the Heat lead by 14. Well, Jimmy Butler's playing the smart game right here. Patient and disciplined. That's a nice mid-range jumper. Abdul Jabbar with the bucket. It might be the most difficult shot in basketball, the hook shot. James looking around. The shot by Adetokounmpo. Nobody around. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Miami.
They really lit it up in this one. Fantastic offensive performance. Definitely just simply shot the ball well. One of those games to be proud of. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Carmelo Anthony. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Nice LeBron shot by James. From way back there. I mean, LeBron's just showing off now. Pass to Jordan. And they pick up two. And that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Chicago foul. Anthony Davis. First personal foul. That's good from out of the combo. Team foul. The perennial MVP candidate Shoot. continues to thrive, and it's Giannis's work ethic that has separated him from most. Peyton passes to Doncic from deep, off target with that shot. And so Miami takes this one by That's a big margin. The end of the game. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home tickets to feel at home. I mean, you have just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David, the great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you later.